Excuse me, can you help me to give some idea to make installation of aquaponic? I try to make it, but I get more fail. Is this need to filter water from aquarium before it take water to plant? Sorry if my English too bad. This question is coming from Ahmad, and don't worry Ahmad, we understand you perfectly clear here at the School of Aquaponics, so don't worry about it. But for everyone else, he's just asking if there's a need to have a filtration um, installed before it gets to the aquarium. He's having problems setting it up, and he's just trying to find out if there needs to be some type of method to filter the water before it gets to the aquarium. The School of Aquaponics. So yes, you do need to have some method of uh, filtering out the solid waste that come from the aquarium. And you can do this either before it gets to the plants or you can do it simultaneously or at the same time that it's getting to the plants. Either one of those methods will work. So for the basic setup, the most basic setup that can be used is a media bed type of filter where you can have your aquarium with your fish on the bottom. You can have that on the bottom and then at the top, you can have a media based system. You have your media inside of there and you can place your system or place your plants inside of this media bed and you can put your pump in the aquarium, run your plumbing up to the, um, to, to the media bed and there is gonna act as a mechanical filter. It's gonna mechanically filter out the water and it's gonna act as a biological filter as well where your beneficial bacteria are gonna grow. And then from there, the water will return. All the large solids should be um, should maintain inside of that uh, inside of your grow bed at the top and maybe you might have some small solids that will return back to the fish tank and it'll just keep recycling that way. So this is the most basic setup that you can use um, to uh, put an aquaponic system together. Other than that, you can separate the mechanical and biological filtration um, and that works just as fine and even better. Um, but it, I mean, it takes, it's a little bit more components to it, but, um, it, it pays off if you do it right. So what you can do is you can have your, um, you can have your, your aquarium tall. You can have it high, higher than everything else in the system. And then from there, the outlet of the aquarium is going to come down and it's going to enter into a mechanical filter. And this is what it's going to be uh, some type of a radial flow filter or some type of swirl filter or matten filter. One of these methods you're going to use to collect the large solids um, inside of your fish tank. And then from there, it'll go and connect to a biological filter, which is going to, um, uh, um, it's going to encourage your beneficial bacteria to colonize. And then from there, it can return back into your plant, your plant production. And there in your grow system, you can either have, if this is a deep water culture system, you can either put the pump inside of the, um, the deep water culture system, or you can put it outside, depending on the type of pump that you use. And then you can just pump the water right back up and it'll go on the same one linear or the linear um, motion throughout the entire um, system. I, now there's more advanced ways to build these things, but I'm just giving you a very basic design to help you out, to help you get going before getting to um, more uh, advanced types of um, designs. 